Hey, what's up guys? It's Online Money 24 seven and today we're gonna to be talking about how to set up your Shopify products and we're going to be going through a live example. This is for Shopify dropshipping. We're gonna be taking a look at another website that I had found and we're gonna be analyzing exactly what they're doing right and what you could potentially integrate into your own store. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it in three, two, one. Boom. All right, you guys, so we are now on the website. The website is called Hype Bargains. Now, the way that I found out about this dropshipping website was actually through Facebook. So someone shared one of their Facebook promotional videos for one of their products, and their Facebook page is called Legit Gifts. So as you can see here, we have a sewing machine uh, laid out right here. You know, get it here, link to Legit Gifts. But when you click Legit Gifts, it then links you back to Hype Bargains. So Hype Bargains is their Shopify site. And today we're gonna to be going through like their product descriptions, how exactly they're doing it so well with their website because their website is laid out really, really nicely. And if you can't tell the niche already, this is pretty much hype based product stuff that is catches your attention like a fidget cube. Uh, we have like a bunch of as seen on TV type of products, you know, those like gimmicky looking things like uh, this tennis trainer or this LED turn signal vest, like random stuff that they have these cool videos for because like people, you know, these are products you don't normally see uh, at your local stores. So these are things you would have to buy online. You know, these random weird looking cool products, uh, maybe even this lion hood for pets. So they have a bunch of miscellaneous products, but they're all focused around virality and shareability. So essentially they post a video with this interesting product and then a bunch of people will like it or share it. Now they might be running ads on some of these actually, some of the more successful successful ones. They might be running these uh, as Facebook ads as well. But I can imagine that with all these posts and the amount of page likes that they have, these are definitely there's definitely a lot of organic traffic that is happening through Facebook shareability because these products are very unique. So taking a look at the legit gifts place, you know, this is just all their different videos. That's how I found about it, found out about it was someone shared it on my Facebook and I was like, oh, look at that, a dropshipping website. I'll review it for the channel. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at how to set up the product descriptions because that is something we could take away from this website, what they're succeeding at really well because it's something that I noticed that stood out when I went to their website. So let's go ahead and click on one of these products. It could be any product because they use the same one for every single uh, product. So let's go ahead and look at Nifty Trash. Okay, so this is like this cool little trash bag thing. You can hook it on your uh, door in your kitchen. So something that they're doing really, really well here is they have Nifty Trash here laid out, right? With a sale price. So they're doing a clearance. So you always want to have like a markdown price because people are like, oh, look, it's cheaper, you know? It's Amazon does it all the time. You just leave everything always on sale. So the real price is $10 and it's like, oh, it's, you know, normally 20 bucks, right? So it's 50% off. Uh, and then as you can see here, uh, here uh, red add to cart button. So red is a very clickable button. Uh, it increases your heart rate. It's been proven by scientific studies. So if you want to use any kind of colors, I would recommend like, uh, well, obviously you're going to pick a color. You're going to use some sort of color. Uh, you want to use either red, orange, or yellow. Any kind of hues within the red, orange, yellow category are good add to cart buttons. You could even do like a purplish pink slash red for like a, a beauty website. That also works. But any kind of hue within that color palette is something good to use for your uh, page designs. And then as you can see here, they also have a messenger thing for Facebook. So that's some way that you can send it to your messenger to be able to purchase if you want to do it that way, because some people have uh, payments set up through their Facebook accounts, especially because a lot of the traffic here is through Facebook video shareability. So a lot of people are coming from Facebook to this website, if not almost all of them. So that's a good feature that they added there that you can you can go ahead and add a plugin for that. It's not too difficult. Uh, and then here we have a countdown timer. So this could either be through the theme, but seemingly this theme is the, the starter theme. They probably have a plugin here for this, like a countdown timer app. Now, something that I saw really stood out here is the free shipping on all orders. This is just an image here. So you want to nowadays with drop shipping, you don't really want to be doing the free plus shipping because people think that it's a scam doing just free shipping on all orders, no matter what country they're in. 
uh, is something that works really, really well. And what I noticed to work well on my store as well when I was first starting out is you want to just do free shipping on all orders. That's what Amazon does when you order a certain amount. That's what people are used to on the internet now. Hardly anyone pays shipping nowadays. So just make free shipping on all your orders and then just include an account for the shipping price that you're going to that you're gonna have to pay within the actual pricing of your product. But this big image here, you could even copy this for your own website, make a similar thing, but free shipping on all orders, that is really, really nice. It stands out, it's right below the countdown timer and everything. It's really nice on the page layout. Now next, they also have a video going over what the product does. This is on their YouTube channel. So this is pretty much the Facebook video that they use to promote it, but they also have it here. So just in case if people wanna re-go through the the features of the product, they can do that. So if you're selling products, you know, try and find some videos online about the product because there's tons of people on Instagram that'll make videos about your products. Uh, if they're from, obviously, if they're from AliExpress, a lot of people are selling the same type of product. So you could probably find something, uh, a product video on the product. Uh, and if you don't have one, make your own. You could even order the product to yourself and then make your own product video. That's something also that you could do. You know, if you're doing a flashlight, show the flash flashlights usage and try and copy like the same type of style that that other uh, businesses have used for their videos because it works really well. It's a nice quick, shows all the features. So you want to have a video there if you can. If you can't, it's okay. Um, but try to make a video if you can because that's really, really appealing for customers that want to see what the product is all about. So next in the layout of their uh, product description and stuff like that is the bullet points and description. So obviously you definitely want this not only for SEO purposes to get your website ranking, but also so that people can read this and see what the product's about, see the description. So a lot of this type of stuff like the sizing will be available on AliExpress for you. Uh, and you'll be able to find the, that information on the product pages. But for this other stuff, you can just kind of make it up yourself. I mean, if the description, you just make a description based on what the product does. It's pretty simple. Uh, it's not too difficult. You make it uh, about what the product's about. And then you want to add also some extra images possibly in here as well. And then lastly, a very important factor is having a, you could either have a description here with um, buying with confidence. You could do that. But most importantly, have a uh, checkout, safe checkout thing here, the, the badges. These, these are very, very important because you can just find this image on Google. As you can see, I could just download this image, save the image. Uh, that is very important. You want to have these trust badges on your website because people then trust it a lot more. Even though it's just an image, when people see like guaranteed safe checkout, and there's a lot of different trust badges you could find on Google Images that people have already made. You don't even have to make your own trust badges. Uh, if you want, then cool, you could go ahead and do that, but the work's already laid out for you a lot of times. So go ahead and get a trust badge image. You could just paste that in your description as well. Definitely, definitely recommend that. So that is something really good that you can do and then have the extra images potentially. You know, you already have images here, so you don't necessarily need these other images as well, but if you want, it's also good. But then the free shipping on all orders, the red colors, very, very nicely laid out, as well as the video. Like everything is really, really nicely laid out on this website. So this is something that you could copy and utilize on your own website. It's just something I found through Facebook and I figured I would share that with you guys for how to make a really, really nice looking description. But anyway, guys, if you have not actually started your Shopify stores yet, I do have a 14 day free trial link down in the description box below. If you wanna click that to support the channel, you can go ahead and do that. But if you have not subscribed yet, hit that dang subscribe button, hit the notification bell as well so you get notified for future videos, uploads, and all that good stuff. Leave a like, leave a comment down below if you have any questions, comments, concerns. But anyway, guys, that's all for today's video. So I will see you in the next one. Peace out.